Hi, I'm Robert Borton, CEO of Classical Conversations, the world's largest classical Christian homeschooling community. I'm launching a new podcast, Refining Rhetoric. If you like cross politics or just listen to hear what crazy stuff they're saying today, you will enjoy Refining Rhetoric. You can find us on your favorite podcast platform. I practice the 15 tools of learning by interviewing great guests, looking at current events, and talking about cryptocurrency. Yes, it's Thursday. Welcome to Cross Politics on the Fight Lab Feast Network. Pastor Toby Talk Knox on the Water Boy. We also got a great update interview coming from Colonel. Uh, we, we might need to delete this part on YouTube because last time we had him on, he got deleted on YouTube. No. Oh. oh, really? Oh, yeah, that show. I wasn't here for that show. So we got suspended Colonel from YouTube. Bleep. Yeah. Uh, wow. Talk to Colonel. Bleep. You know, this week I've been uh, reading Joseph. Uh, the story of Joseph. Joseph all Smith? Week. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, he's a he's, heretic. Yeah, not that Joseph. <laughs> Our, uh, uh, you know, Abraham, Isaac, you yeah, know. We call that Jacob the book of Joseph. Genesis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's in the Bible. And it, it's just, it's a, such a great story. Yeah. Some Bibles, Joseph. the Gideon Bible doesn't have it. Oh, yeah. yeah. The yeah. Gideon Bible doesn't have it? No, well, you know, they do like that New Testament of Psalms thing sometimes. Oh, oh you know, yeah. You yeah. Like, little people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah. you might not get Genesis. Little bi- little Bibles for little Christians. And this is nothing. Little Bibles for little Christians. Oh, he's doing stand-up, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. That's funny. Toby and I mean this is nothing new but just like just how he handled all the wickedness done to him in his life yeah had no bitterness whatsoever yeah and how he was like the present of forgiveness was really ready when he saw his brothers yeah and and he was he was emotional about it yeah you know breaking down breaking down just about your arrest again no no not at all just (laughs) Just wondering it's just a a great it's just been a great encouragement reading Joseph this week I've been really enjoying I mean I'm kind of reading going back and reading again just just sharing. Sharing. That's it. Yeah, that's that just awesome. th- Thursday, what do we call it? Theology Thursdays? Yeah. No. There we no, go. We, no, ca- no. we call it Gabe shares his Bible reading <laughs> Thursdays. <laughs> Thursdays. <laughs> by, by the way, I have yeah. nothing against the Gideons. I think the Gideons yeah, no, no, are, no. are <laughs> awesome. I, I, I'm, 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 just, I'm just imagining everybody sending a bunch of emails like, the Gideons do great work. <laughs> yeah. And, I'm, and I know they do great work. I'm so grateful for <laughs> them. Funny. Did it get you past It's like, oh, I don't want the emails. Y'all don't at me right <laughs> well, now. I, I, love, I love the Gideons. <laughs> I just, I was just, it was a joke. It was just a joke. People don't take jokes anymore. Uh, you know, anyway. right. I mean, <laughs> even on cross politics, yeah, they're like, you, you serious? Oh, are you serious? You serious? I'm going to cancel my club membership. <laughs> Read more Chesterton. Oh, wow. Ain't that the truth? See, now you got to say that we were just joking. All right, I'm just going to say this right now. I'm in that mood. We had one club member cancel the membership and email us and said, man, uh, I figured out you guys are are not are, are, are for interracial marriages. I'm canceling my club membership. <laughs> I'm like you watch the show, right? I, I, I mean, and, I actually, and then you financially support us, actually, and, it, and then I, that was. That? I, I feel like that was. I feel like that was a fail for that's our part. On us, yeah. that, that's true. That he was a it's member true. to begin with. <laughs> it's true. What are you, how, that's I, on I, us. That, that is yeah. on us. Yeah, it, it's yeah. pretty funny. We We're love sorry. you, club members. We got some quirky ones. We, you know, it's it's you know, it's fun. Reformation Heritage Books is a publisher and bookseller whose mission is, by the Spirit's grace, to aim for the conversion of unbelievers and equip the saints to serve Christ and his church through biblical, experiential, and practical ministry via books, tracts, and other resources. Reformation Heritage Books is committed to the conviction that the scriptures of the Old and the New Testaments, including Genesis with the story of Joseph, are originally written as God's inerrant word, inspired by his spirit, and therefore the only sufficient and infallible authority for faith and practice, including politics. Visit their website at heritagebooks.com. Dot org to place your order today. That's heritagebooks.org. So That's you, just such a great ad. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so you guys, you know, I, I'm a conspiracy theorist. Um, yes. Although there is this line, what does it say? It's like, I was conspiracy theorist until all of them came true, and then now I don't know what to do. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Um, well, well, in our notes, it says Candace and eggs. So, so. I was on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah, Gabe, that is... Mm. We nope. live in a world where you got to be more careful. Mm. You can't just say that. Our show notes. Our show notes need yeah. to maybe a little yeah. more... Uh, okay. Yeah, All right, take up. us there, man. So take us there. I was searching on social media, and I ran across a, a, a reel where somebody was talking about, you know, we've had an egg problem. Price of eggs have gone up exponentially. Yep, yep. For Dave Rubin? Uh, <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. That, that got Neil. That got Neil. I heard Neil. Dave Rubin's this having a hard time buying, buying more eggs. Uh, no, not about? for Rubin. Oh. Uh, uh, but well, maybe for everybody, those <laughs> different kind of eggs. Uh, but 
a lot of people who have chickens have not been able to get their eggs to their chickens to lay eggs. They've been having a problem uh, really? countrywide. They their chickens are not laying eggs. I got, I got three chickens that haven't laid eggs all winter. Gabe, I, yeah. I started I started out with ten chickens this winter. Yeah, and a um uh, a you coyote probably uh-huh. got seven of them, and I think it lowered the morale, and they stopped giving me <laughs> eggs. Well. <laughs> So apparently the chickens in the country <laughs> they're like got some low hiding morale. in the corner every night is like am I where you know it's like you know the Russian roulette you we're, know we're not gonna give you any eggs because you don't protect coyote us. roulette and they're just like hey, we're done giving eggs yeah. in this environment we but, need, we need safety <laughs> this is an interesting day for you I, I don't know how to feel about you right now <laughs> but okay so so I'm starting to pay attention and start seeing that this is actually a problem uh, around the country everybody's right. having a problem with their chickens laying eggs. Well, the lady says, well, me and a few other homesteaders decided to let our chickens free roam and okay. not give them the feed. And they stopped eating the feed that was there. Okay. And as soon as they did, they started laying eggs again. Whoa. And, and so other people, I started seeing, when I see a conspiracy, I'm like, ooh, a new one. Yeah. All my COVID <laughs> ones. A chicken all, all, conspiracy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so everybody. So Interesting. I, anyway, okay. I started seeing this happen to a lot of other folks. I go today, turn on my, my Twitter, mm. I think, it was, no, Instagram. And I saw this clip from Candace Owens. There's a conspiracy going on that the chicken feed, right, what the farmers feed their chickens has somehow been tainted and it has led to none of these chickens being able to lay eggs. So a young woman on TikTok began investigating. She thought it was very strange. She started talking to people locally and it's the same thing. They're saying, yeah, no, my leg, they're not laying eggs. And this started around September. And she starts looking at the feed. Okay, what are we all feeding our chickens? And apparently there's not very many distributors of chicken feed. And she determines that there's two main ones. And actually she discovers that it's just one main one. And it's Purina. Purina is the main owner of the chicken feed that they are all feeding. She goes down and she decides to switch up the feed. And immediately the chicken begins to start laying eggs again. So Whoa, whoa. So my chickens are on Perina, and oh. they stopped laying eggs. Okay, I mean, they really did. And I thought it was just some sort of like I thought my chickens were like Democrats, and they were just mad at the government because no. I wasn't protecting them from the coyote or something. <laughs> yes, you already mentioned that that's part, what, Gabe. You, you mentioned that. I yeah. thought that was just so, had a mutiny egg thing on my hand, no, but I'm serious. I, my, no. they're, they're eating Perina. I know. So here's I'm, outside of the unsolved mystery music. Um, I think this is interesting to me enough that I want to say this. Listen. Uh, the, I trust the people who listen to our show and the ones that we have community with far more than I trust anybody else right, right now. Yeah. The right. circles that are close to me. So here's what I want to ask. If you are a homesteader, if you have chickens, could you tell us if this is true and what's going on? Are you seeing some of the same things? So email I'm gonna us. Up. I'm going to change up my feed. Yeah. yeah. Email us. Yeah. It is contact at fightlaughfeast.com. This is a way that we're trying to aggregate stories. So I don't trust these corporations i don't trust these big bi- i don't trust mm-hmm. any of them right now right. i want to know from the people on the ground who actually have chickens are you seeing the same thing i don't i don't even trust candace <laughs> i, I <laughs> yep. want to i want to trust the people who yeah. are sending us information i want to kind of find out if this is true or not so send us your in- right. review of this reality okay. i see what you're doing to there. contact at fightlefeast.com and contact at fightlefeast.com because when we first started talking about the story it's like man i need more Data. I need That's more investigation on it. We all need more data, yeah, and we can that. aggregate and, and did it. Did you hear that there's there's a there's a major fire in one of the largest chicken yes um, egg laying chicken facilities plants. and plants <laughs> and and the U S burned down egg laying chicken and, facilities. And, you know, yes. and so you got all this Cajun chicken well, wings. Well, here's the deal: <laughs> if if you're able to aggregate Cajun land chicken. Okay. <laughs> if you're able to control the food, you can control a lot of things. Yeah, and right. we know that they're trying to do that. You, you, I don't put like, it past the government. You know, at all. this goes back to like Stalin and Lenin. Uh, absolutely. And this is an old this is an old government tactic. And if you wow. if you already got the chicken lane, what'd you call them? Chicken egg laying eggers. Yes. If you have that <laughs> and you don't have the private industry, what do you do? Well, you go after the food. This yeah. makes complete sense to me, right? right? And you say, well, if they need to buy our food for their chickens and we can stop them from laying mm. eggs. Hmm. Mm. Now, it could be an accident. Somebody spilt some turpentine inside of the, the mix. Flush out the <laughs> system, you know. <laughs> and they're like, oh, yeah, this yeah. batch was bad. But yeah. I don't know. I wanted to put it to okay. our listeners. Contact at fightlabfeast.com. So, also, we're looking for investigative reporters, by the way. So, so you yeah. can make this your first story. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, State of the Union. There's one other thing that we wanted to hit because yeah. oh. it's actually a far oh, bigger come problem. Come on, guys. Uh, in, that, was in, enough. <laughs> that was enough. I'm just going to say this now. Far bigger problem in the Republican Party than we realized. But anyways, 
Uh, here's Joe Biden. That We didn't get to this, uh, but it's really important, so pay attention. Here's, here's Joe Biden talking about Social Security. Some of my Republican friends want to take the economy hostage. I get it, unless I agree to their economic plans. All of you at home should know what those plans are. Tell us, Joe. Instead of making the wealthy pay their fair share, some Republicans, some Republicans want Medicare and Social Security to sunset. I'm not saying it's the majority. I'll give you a copy. I'll give you a copy of the proposal. That means Congress doesn't vote. I enjoy conversion. <laughs> you know, it means if, if Congress doesn't keep the programs the way they are, they'd go away. Other Republicans say, I'm not saying it's a majority of you. I don't even think it's even a significant. But it's being proposed by individuals. I'm not politely not naming them, but it's being proposed by some of you. Folks, the idea is that we're not going to be we're, we're not going to be moved into being threatened to default on the debt if we don't respond. So, folks, as we all apparently agree, Social Security and Medicare is off the off the books now. Right? They're not to be stopped. All right. Wow. So that, every, was, that was Biden at his sharpest in his. We didn't so even play too. all of it because yeah. he he actually was he played pretty. the Republicans on that, and they all stood up and clapped in unity. And he's like, oh, "Okay, cool. We're good right. on social. We're all socialists now." Yeah. You see what he did? Yeah, he got him. He turned. He turned. He turned it all he on just, the Republicans. He, he, yeah, that's that's a bait. Well, it's and, a bait and get you. Yeah. So, you, you guys don't want me. To, you don't want us to be socialists. Well, yes, we do. Yes, we do. You yeah. sure about that? Yes, we do. We want to be socialists. We want the government to take care of our parents that's and right. grandparents. That's right. It's the government's job to take care of them. We're all Gabe's chickens right now. What? <laughs> I, they no. want protection and health care and freedom. Okay. freedom. They, want the, like, they want the coyotes out of the I, pen. I was trying to figure out. They want their freedom. I was trying to figure out who wasn't laying eggs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you. It's both sides now. Yeah. <laughs> this is going way too far. <laughs> what is it? So, Senator Scott. Yeah. See, when you hit that button, it just doesn't. Well, doesn't does. okay. I hit the table. So, Senator Scott well, went on. This must have hit a nerve. CNN. This is on CNN. Yeah. Because right. they came back oh, and was worse. Because like, yeah. this happened today. This oh, happened to no. Senator so, Scott today. It's even worse. Yeah. Nobody believes that I want to cut Medicare or Social Security. I've never said it. I've never said it. In that same plan, I said Congress needs to once a year tell the American public how they're going to make sure those programs don't go bankrupt because they're in the verge of bankruptcy. Oh, come on. And here's man. the difference between Joe Biden and me. I've never proposed it. In 1975, he has a bill, a sunset bill, and it says it requires every program to be looked at freshly at least every four years, not, not just cost, but worthiness. And, Caitlin, he said, when I argued that we should freeze federal spending, I meant Social Security as well. I meant Medicare, Medicaid, veterans benefits. I meant every single solitary thing in government. So here's the difference. I've never proposed it. He proposed it in a bill, and he fought for it year after year after year. You're talking about what he proposed back in, you know, 1975, was almost 50 years ago. But you have said he's twisting your words, but isn't that the same thing that what you're proposing now, what you rolled out last summer? Mine says, mine says clear. Mine says clear. You know, if it's worth keeping, we're going to keep it. In his case, okay, I mean, he proposed a bill to just sunset everything. I've, I've never done that. I've been very clear. I am not for cutting Social Security, Medicare. The, um, that quote says he's clearly, he proposed it year after he's year sweating. after year to reduce Medicare and Social Security. Year after year. I've never done that. I don't believe in that. I think we've got to preserve those benefits. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so it's not a good argument no, that I am more no. communistic than yeah. Biden. That's yeah. exactly <laughs> what I'm saying. No, I'm a real communist. I really am a communist. <laughs> He's the one that wasn't really a communist. Like, yeah. I mean, you just like, like I'm a better communist all, than Joe Biden. All, all you did was yeah. argue for why we should have like why Joe Biden in the 1970s would have been f more fiscally conservative than our Republicans know, today. Today, I know exactly, is, exactly, Toby. And, and and notice notice that nobody here has like, I mean, they just took the bait. Like, Absolutely. where where is he? He's in Florida. Florida, vote oh, him out. Oh man, Give vote him out. Tell him we don't want socialists. We don't want communists. Um, we believe that our parents and our grandparents are our responsibility to take care of. It is never efficient to have the government take care of things. It's mm -hmm. not their job. God has not given the civil government the sword right. to take care of our grandparents. That's Do right. you know what they did during COVID? 
Yeah. They locked right. him down and they died alone. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. That's what that's Rick right. Scott just that's argued. Exactly no, no, no. Right. I, I, I don't worry. I want the government to still be able to lock them down and kill our parents. That's right. That's what he said. That's right. And, and so do you think that you can do a better job of taking care of your parents in the federal government? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Every day of the week. Mm-hmm. And, and, and guess what? It's your responsibility my, too anyway. My, my grandma just turned 95 yesterday. Oh, yeah. man. And my parents take care of her. She lives mm. with my parents. Yeah. In Texas. Beautiful. In Texas. Yeah. You, you, that's why she's doing so well. Yeah, that's you, true. Right. That's yeah, true. Exactly. No, but, and, and but, just, you know, but no, but serious, like they're taking care of her and she is doing great. Man. And you know because, what? Because we know how to take care of our own parents. Yeah. And, and he, Rick Scott, just sold the American people out. Yep. On CNN, he bowed down to their God. Yeah. And she has him by hooks. And, right. and, and, and he beat out Biden. Yeah. yeah, right. Oh, my goodness. Like, yeah. Also, I just want to, on the taking care of the parents thing, I just got to say this. There is a transfer of information and knowledge and wisdom and trust that grandparents have in them yes. that parents don't have quite yet yeah. and that grandchildren need. Yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. There's yes. a transfer of information. And when we lose that because we're not, right. they have more to give us right. <laughs> than we yeah. have to give them. Right. Right. And we need to remember that there's a blessing there for us in that. And we need that in our lives. And, and Jesus explicitly rebuked the Jewish leaders That's right. That's right. for how they created traditions of men in order to supplant the clear commands of God, That's which right. have to do with honoring and protect and providing for your parents. Yep. It's, it's a financial commitment. And what we're, it's the same thing with the ESA thing that we were talking That's about yesterday right. is, is like, we're, we're, we're taking the bait. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I read all these defenses of, of the education choice programs and they're saying, don't worry, we're not taking any money from government schools. We're actually giving them more money. That's right. Yeah. From where? <laughs> Like so, basically, you're saying at the end of this, we're going to owe you more. Like we're going to yeah. owe the government more, and that's you know, Rick Scott's doing the same thing. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I think the government should take care of your parents and grandparents. And yeah, if, if they need to be locked down and die alone in a nursing home again, so be it. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's create the opportunity for that to exist again. Right. All right, we're going. Who? What, uh, it, it's a uh, it's a uh, Colonel um, uh, Kevin Hall. Beep, Colonel oh, Kevin beep, Hall. Hey. Coming on, coming on next. Yeah. Yep. All these cases are being won. More cross politics. That's right. Next, more winning happening. I like that. Yeah. Free men need to be able to protect their families. It's really sad to see people hurt, livelihoods destroyed, even homes destroyed, just to make a political point. Free men take action when churches face heartbreaking attacks, and while cowards stand idle. Free men run towards the sound of gunshots when children are in danger. I'm so thankful for free men who stand ready with the tools of liberty. (laughs) Soon we'll have to eat our dishes. So I still love that that's, song. That's all. That, that, well, I, I got wanna, another one I if you want. Keep going. Uh, uh, okay, well, hold on. Economics are fictitious. <laughs> yeah. Who can take your money? Who can take your money? With a twinkle in their eye. <laughs> a in their eye. <laughs> oh my goodness! Take it all away and give it to some other guy. <laughs> the government. The government. It's catchy. The it's government catchy. can. Man, yeah. <laughs> We need to play that more often. We need to update the, the vaccination part. We, uh, we need to add yeah. vaccination, yeah. you know, Is lyrics. there a verse about the vaccination? We should add it. We should yeah. add it. That's yeah. what I'm saying. About canning all of our yeah. faithful soldiers yeah, and colonels. government officials. I yeah. know. Welcome back to Cross Politic, where the government came. <laughs> Did you guys know that you can sign up for a club membership, a magazine subscription, and tickets to the Fight Laugh Feast conference at the Ark Encounter. Oh, discounts to tickets to the Fight Laugh Feast. All <laughs> in yes. one place. Oh, okay. You I, can. See where, I see where you're going. That's that's some... This is hilarious. This is some, That's some cross-pollination <laughs> right there. <laughs> you did good, Pastor. Oh, good, good man. Job. Our redhead uh, wrote that. The government that's can... <laughs> FightLaughFeast.com is your one-stop shop for everything cross-politic. Here's what you should do right now. Just hit pause there on your screen or on your on your, your podcast player. You should sign up for a club membership if you're not already. Then run over and register for the Fight Laugh Feast conference at the Ark Encounter, and you get a $100 discount 
off your purchase for yeah. being a club member. Where to go? And then sign up for a magazine subscription while you're there. You're losing money if you don't become a club member. Pretty much. To our conference. Yeah. yeah. Um, we've even got our own social media platform built into our website now for our club members. It's kind of cool. I like it. Once you're a club member, you get access to exclusive content, backstage uh, conversations, also Bible study series, Proverbs uh, with me, a special series of New St. Andrews president, Dr. Ben Merkel, all our backstage content and all our conference talks Past, present, even future. I think the they're not first, yet, they're not there yet. The yeah, first four be. should be up. Yeah, discipleship, Christian yeah. discipleship by pastor. There really yeah. hasn't been a better time to be a cross politic club member. So sign up today at fightlaughfeast.com. Man, help at, us help us beat the Daily Wire. Do, help help us beat the Blaze. Help us beat CNN Plus. Yeah. Actually, CNN Plus has been deleted. They don't. It's not even. They've they've rebranded. We won. We're gonna reboot. We're gonna reboot. We beat them. <laughs> <laughs> for one, for the three weeks they were alive. Hey, very grateful to have with us Colonel Kevin Hall. He serves as senior advisor to the director of airspace and cyberspace operations for the AFMC at Wright Patterson Air Force Base in Ohio. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Kevin. Back on Cross Politic. You're welcome. Thanks so much for having me. So now, now if you remember last time, yeah. we had you know the Colonel on the Colonel, the Colonel. Yes, uh, we had you on. You told us your story. And then YouTube suspended that show. We got suspended. We got suspended yes. from YouTube because we had you on. And all you were talking about was just your fight to not, not be forced vaxxed in the military. And YouTube, it, what made me so mad, I'm, I'm just going to take well, this for just one minute. Yeah. What made me we'll so let mad you talk about in that a second, Colonel. <laughs> is we have this 23 year veteran yeah. on the yeah. show, you know, who would give his life to fight for the freedoms for YouTube to exist and all this in a right. free capitalistic country. Yeah. And then, and then YouTube's like, yeah. Delete. Right. Delete this dude who would give his life for us to exist. Yeah. Well, yeah. More than that, I got a letter of reprimand basically in part for uh, doing the show as well. Wait, no what? <laughs> wait, wait. Whoa. Whoa. What, oh, happened? Yeah. what happened? What so, happened? Well, so I should probably start this with a, a disclaimer. And I, I really think it's so. What I should do is a sarcastic disclaimer that my opinion is, in fact, the Air Force's opinion. My opinion that they're violating the Constitution, that what they're doing is unlawful, and that everything is a crime against humanity that represents the air force's opinion of you know, sarcasm intended <laughs> yeah, they, the government they, uh, can <laughs> yes so what was your letter they, of reprimand
While God created the world, the morning stars sang together. After God delivered Israel through the Red Sea, Moses and Miriam led the people in singing. God destroyed Israel's enemies under King Jehoshaphat while the choir sang. When Jesus was born, the angels sang, and before going to the cross, he sang. God rejoices over us with singing, and one of the only things we know for certain that everyone will be doing in heaven is singing. At New St. Andrews College, we understand that music is not an elective. It is central to our being and identity. We endeavor to train all our students in a joyful and robust musical literacy that will help them shape culture in a Christ-like direction wherever they go. Additionally, we offer the Certificate of Music in conjunction with our bachelor's degree in liberal arts and culture for students who desire extra music training beyond the regular music courses they will take as a part of the core curriculum. In the certificate program, you won't simply appreciate music or listen to it or talk about it. You will do music. You will study it, analyze it, read it, write it, sing it, and play it. You will receive private instruction in your primary instrument as well as secondary lessons in voice, piano, conducting, and other instruments. You will receive a solid foundation in music theory and analysis. You will study music history, church music, and music pedagogy. And when you graduate, you will leave with the ability to sing, play, understand, and steward music in whatever church or community you plant yourself. I'm Dr. David Erb, and this is the Certificate of Music at New St. Andrews College.